So God is my lawyer. This is not hate speech. This is great speech. I'm going to list for you 11 businesses that you use and know of and participate that build digital plantations. Yes, they are slave owners online. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So keep watching. And if you get offended, remember, God is my lawyer. OK, so we're going to start off with the first company. And uh, I'll just give you one of them first. In this Airbnb, 40 percent of their revenue comes from their affiliates. What is an affiliate? Pretty much a person that works for free to bring you sales online. They use their time, effort, connections, traffic, budgets, know how all of that to bring Amazon sales. So the first company we have on the list is Uber with more than uh, 63 countries worldwide. Uber is officially one of the world's leading uh, transportation companies, ride share services. But they don't really spend that much on advertising and marketing. Their affiliates do all of that. That means you can sign up to Uber right now, say, hmm, I want to make money sending people to Uber. And they know that. So rather than them just spending a crap load of money on, uh, you know, paid advertisement and stuff, they can use you. They will hire you or pretty much you hire yourself to work for free. They're not paying you anything hourly or anything. And you're going to put up Facebook ads, SEO campaigns, talk to your family, friends, relatives like MLM, and you're going to send everybody to use Uber. So that's exactly how that works. OK, so then we have Airbnb. In 11 years, Airbnb went from being a company that rents three mattresses to a company that counts before the pandemic, 150 million users arranges 2 million bookings per day and whose value is an estimated of $100 billion after the last IPO. OK, so a lot of that came from their referral system. It says uh, 38 billion and much of the business is indebted to their referral system. So that's about you building your digital plantation online. So that's technically just an affiliate network. I own an affiliate network. OK, so I practice what I preach. And why do we do this? Is it a bad thing? No. In the scriptures, it was slaves, <laughs> but you treated them right. It wasn't the traditional slavery that you guys heard about or that we went through or nothing like that. So basically, it's just a person that's indebted it to you. They work for you and they, you know, they don't really uh, get paid unless you get results. OK, so that's what we do. You want to build this up because it allows you to apply or implement leverage principles instead of risking your own money. These other people that might be trained or have experience in bringing in new customers, they can bring you new customers customers using their know-how, their budgets and all of that. And you only pay them when they get you results. So you want to start building your digital plantation right now or your affiliate network. But it only works if you have already positioned yourself in the scriptures. We have the blueprint. The blueprint states that you're supposed to first position yourself. Then you are allowed to leverage others. OK, so we're going to get some scriptures to prove all of this uh, in a minute. OK, so we'll go through a couple more of these. Watch this. So we talked about Airbnb. Now we have Amazon. So Airbnb and Amazon are similar, uh, not with what they sell, but how they do their uh, business. OK, so Jeff Bezos, we all know that Jeff Bezos is pretty much the richest man in the world. Uh, and pretty much, you know, besides people in the Illuminati and all of that, <laughs> the richest public person in the world. OK. And he uses the principles of leverage. He positioned Amazon first to where everybody would want to be a part of the movement and would want to work with them or for them. And he created his affiliate network all the way back in the day. He was one of the first ones to open up an affiliate program. And that's why he was able to exponentially grow faster than everybody else using stuff like SEO ads and all of that. But they leveraged their affiliates to do all of that. So <clears throat> it has 38 percent of the e-commerce market. Do you really think that is because of, uh, you know, Jeff Bezos or their team itself? No, it's not. Watch this. Not many know that Amazon derived almost 40 percent of its revenue through affiliate marketing, according to this report, which is uh, a little bit outdated being launched in 2013. So that was all the way back in 2013. Think about all of the YouTube channels and uh, influencers when you go on uh, Instagram, TikTok or any of those places like that. Think of all of them that have the little Amazon affiliate link to the products and everything in their bios and everything and in the pinned comments on your YouTube video. So just imagine how much of their revenue is coming from affiliate growth. OK, so <laughs> you want to copy success, right? Copy success. So first you position yourself, then you leverage the work and the effort and time and the budgets of others that think is a fair deal. A lot of these people don't know how to build their own businesses, but they're good at driving traffic or you can train them to drive traffic and they'll literally do that all day. So you're just counting the sales that's coming in all day and you didn't have to risk any of your own budget. So this is pretty genius, man. So next on the list is Target. Target. Wow. I didn't even know they were on this list. 
Similar to Amazon affiliates is the Target affiliate program. Target is another business with a wide variety of products, making it easy for affiliates to link naturally to items with their content. So if you have a vast amount of offers, services, or products, or something like that, it is uh, like a marketplace for affiliates to be able to just come and get a link to refer people back to purchase from you. Uh, also, we have Lyft on there. Lyft is pretty much similar to Uber or whatever, but you know, Uber is Uber ways ahead of them. Okay, so you'll get a $60 referral credit plus 25 bonus credits if you're dealing with them. Okay, so all of these guys are following the blueprint. First, they positioned themselves, meaning they became somebody. Then they leveraged others, meaning they, you know, created disciples, affiliates and everything like that. And now they're like, you can't even slow them down. Okay. And the top companies are the ones that's doing this. Then we have Match.com. If you look up Match.com, you'll see them on a variety of different affiliate networks and CPA networks like Max Bounty and stuff like that. You can get up to, it says... Match.com affiliate program allows affiliates to earn 50% of all new subscription revenue plus up to an additional 50% bonus opportunity for a total of up to 100% commission. That's crazy. This affiliate program is optimally marketed to energetic singles looking to make a lasting social connection with others. So we got bodybuilding.com. We got Wix.com. Wix.com. Some of you guys' websites are built on there. All right. So you know how that works and everything. So what's the point, David? Why, why are you talking to us about this? Well, it's very hard to get sales online, especially if you're a nobody. But if you have a great service or product or offer and you can leverage the audiences of somebody that already has trust and authority, they're already positioned in the specific market that you have your stuff in, then you can leverage them and they can do all the work for you. So for instance, let's say you come out with a, um, a new tool for, uh, you know, to help roofers stay safe when they're fixing someone's roof. All right. And, but, but you have this new tool, so you don't have an audience yet. You can literally make a list of all of the home improvement channels on YouTube and Instagram that have over 5,000 to 10,000 followers and subscribers and everything. They spent all that time building up their audience and you can reach out to them, ask them to interview you or do a review of your new product. So now you've just turned them into an affiliate or a referral partner. They're literally on your digital plantation working for you. So when they create these videos for you about your offer of service, that video is out there working, picking cotton. <laughs> it's out there bringing in new people to join your audience. So their audience becomes your audience now. OK, and they are buying your product and you didn't have to go out and pitch to anybody manually or anything like that. So it's worth it to put a lot of your energy and time and even some of your money into building your digital plantation of these syndicate networks out here just working for you 24 seven, even when you're sleeping. OK, so that's why you should build your own digital uh, plantation. So don't look at it in a negative way. So I'm going to get some scriptures for you because I know a lot of y'all are like, man, he keeps talking about a plantation and, you know, <laughs> and I don't think there's no joke to be talking about slavery. First of all, I was part of it. So I can talk about whatever the hell I want to take that to the bank. Second of all, we're going to get some scriptures and this scripture will let you know that's exactly what you're supposed to do. OK, so when you get a gift, you're supposed to teach all nations. So the reason why it is almost 3,000, almost 4,000 years later, and everybody still know Christ's name, everybody still knows about God, no matter what new religions come up and everything like that. The reason why it stands the test of time, because he has a, a specific formula. When he came here, he positioned himself. All right. He positioned himself as the son of God, the son of man, but the son of God, like literally from God. He can do miracles. Uh, he, he positioned himself by speaking contrary to the Pharisees. He actually walked in a word instead of just saying it. So he was positioned uniquely to where he stood out. Next, what he did was he leveraged others. He went to his cousin, John the Baptist. John the Baptist had an audience already. Like I told you guys, he already had an audience. So he knew that if he can join his name with John the Baptist, that <laughs> that audience will become his. He will have trusted followers. And from there, he was able to gain 12 disciples. OK, so once he uh, he influenced them, gave them gifts and powers and spreaded his knowledge to them. All right. And did his miracles with them and gave them abilities. What he did then was he told them to go into all nations and make disciples and spread the gospel. And that's what you're supposed to do with your uh, your gift. All right. You're literally supposed to take from the Bible exactly what he did. Be Christ like follow in his steps. So if you have a gift, you're supposed to position it 
first, then you're supposed to leverage others, and then you get to reap the rewards the same way he's going to have the crown. And it's all in the Bible, guys. So uh, Matthew 28 and 19 says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. So uh, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And you're commanded to be a success. You're commanded to be a beacon. So you literally have no choice. This, this is what you're supposed to do. So if you have something good that can help people. Now, if you have a, a creation that's going to hurt people, then no, nah, don't do this. But if you have something that can help people, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to impact the world with it. So you're supposed to impact as many people as you can. And the richest companies in the world are following biblical principles. And since you don't believe in the Bible, that's where I'm. You, we're struggling out here and everything. OK, so first position yourself, then you leverage others, then you profit. So by leveraging others, that means making all these disciples, joint ventures, partnerships, affiliates. That's what you do. Let them do all the work. You perfect your product so that it can help more people. And that's how you build a digital plantation.